Hello and welcome to this second video of um, the Congreve clock that I've just made. In this short little video I'll just quickly talk about what I've done and a quick description of, of how the clock works because some people actually believe that it's a perpetual motion machine which of course it cannot be as it has a very powerful spring and you wind it up every eight days or in my case I wind it every seven so I'll just um, tell you what I've done at the moment since you last saw this clock it was just freestanding on top of a desk where now it's on a little table and it's sat directly on top of a, uh, a base that I've just made which needs me to make four feet one for each corner and the feet will be the, the, the feet will be adjustable so I could level the, uh, the clock base. Also in the middle of the base I'll just go over to it is a little drawer where I've hidden the key. This is the key. I don't know if you can see that clearly. I've put my initials in the head of the key which is AB and that hides there on blue velvet when I've finished. But just for now we'll go on to a quick look round the clock. This is a closer view of the base. You can see the decorative moulding that I've put on there. It's just placed there at the moment. I've yet to stick it into place. And the, the cover that I've made is uh, a glass and brass cover, solid brass. I don't like perspex because dust sticks to it and it always looks scratched when you've cleaned it. But a quick description on this, like I say, people think that this is a perpetual motion machine, which, which it is not. The ball travels from side to side, apparently endlessly, but it's driven by the clock. When the ball gets to the end of the track, it strikes a lever which releases a mechanism which enables the clock to tilt the table in the opposite direction to make the ball run back down to the other end where of course it strikes yet again another lever which causes the mechanism to raise the ball by lifting the table and causing the ball to roll back down. So that's that. The clock itself has three displays hours on the left, minutes in the centre and seconds to the right and the seconds is every 30 seconds as you will see and hear as the table clicks I'll wait till it does that any time now and that action has tilted the table and the seconds have moved on another 30 seconds. Here we are at say the right hand side of the clock where you can see I'll zoom in where you can see a rather large drum with a cord wrapped around it. That drum is actually the spring barrel where the very large spring is in and the barrel wind is pulled off of that tapered cone which is grooved which keeps the uh, the cord running in the right direction and place and it's called a fusee. Now when you wind the clock up the cord is wound onto the fusee and off of the spring barrel. When it's fully wound the cord is on the smallest end of the fusee and the spring is fully wound in that position and of course the spring is powerful and very tense in that situation and as it slowly unwinds the cord goes up the fusee into larger and larger diameters and as the spring gets weaker which it will do as it's unwound being pulling pulling on the larger diameters of course increases the strength so in effect 
the spring's power is evened out over its eight days. And that's what the fuse is all about. In there there's a little mechanism as well called the stop work which stops you winding the clock, it locks it so you can't wind the cord off the front of the fusee. Now at the back there's a, an adjustable crank which is there and the reason it's adjustable because it adjusts the throw of the crank to either a small amount or a large amount and if it's on a larger amount it tilts the table to a steeper angle which of course speeds the ball up as it rolls down and to slow the clock down you adjust that to a shallower angle so the throw is less so the table is tilted to a shallower angle which of course slows the ball down this you can see the side lever on the other side which the ball has just struck and it's on its way down the table now to this side to strike the lever on this side which will move a lever which is in there I don't know if you can see this but I'll move to a better position and hope that you can There, that's the, the seconds harbour and there's two pins. There's a pin on the left hand side and a pin on the right hand side exactly 180 degrees apart which divides the, the minute into the 30 seconds and a little lever which arrests the pin and the balls move the lever off the pin escapes and the lever comes back to, to catch the next pin in line to repeat the process and that's roughly it interesting clock is a congreve clock but notoriously not very accurate but I'll work on that and hope to get mine reasonable anyway that's it for now thank you for watching hope I've been of help bye for now